Welcome back to the FIFA 23 career mode with Sheffield United. As we left you at the beginning of transfer deadline day in the last episode, I asked you, who do I buy to replace Harry Maguire? Harry's had his release clause met by PSV, who we certainly hope will be able to afford his wages. Slightly apprehensive that they won't, but fingers crossed he can agree something and we can put uh, the money that we get towards a new centre-back. Financially, we have £22 million available in the budget currently. And from there, we can add the 29 or probably 26-ish we'll get from Harry Maguire's sale. Now, I asked you guys to leave me your suggestions in the YouTube comment section on the last episode as to who you think should re uh, replace Harry Maguire. And there was one strong candidate. I always ask you guys to leave your own comment and thumbs up others that you agree with. And it works beautifully every time. You guys don't let me down. Aguerd from West Ham at the top. And then Aguerd. Aguerd. It's pretty popular. Nothing else comes close. Len Nidis. Leonardis. Stir you. Uh, can grow quite well. He doesn't grow as well as he used to. But, I mean, with 50 thumbs up. Uh, plus another 14. Plus another 21. Uh, it certainly makes sense to get Aguerd in. So, I'm going to try and get Aguerd in. I need this Harry Maguire deal to go through first. And then we should be able to get that deal done, I hope. Uh, the calendar sees us with a pretty straightforward month of February, thankfully. And we'll have another FA Cup tie drawn in there after beating Arsenal in the last episode. So, fingers crossed we can do well. Thank you for your support on the save as ever. Please do continue to leave uh, your thumbs up on the videos. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. FC24, so bloody close. And uh, let's go do some transferring, shall we? Please. PSV, pay his wages. Must oh, good for Feyenoord for trusty. No. Uh, so, Marcelo Brozovic in real life went to Saudi Arabia. He's picked up the bag and now he's moved to the Premier League to actually chase some ambition again. So, Marcelo Brozovic to the Premier League, to Liverpool. Quentin Timber's moved. Gavin Bazunu's moved. Mason Mount's rumoured to be going to Bayern, following in Harry Kane's footsteps. Craig might be going from the free agents to Spurs, apparently. I thought Craig was already at a club, if I'm honest. Which is odd. But he must have been released, perhaps, by... The team that he was at, I'll have to double check the the, uh, the spreadsheet. A bid for Crystal Palace for Harmer, which includes the 77 rated Zivkovic, but I don't want, thank you very much. Harmer stays. Dear PSV, please actually sort this out. Or have you failed? No, it's still ongoing. I don't want to miss an email because I know it can be, it can do that sometimes. Uh, Tammy Abraham's moved to Leipzig, I just saw there. Conrad Lima's moved from Bayern to Sevilla. Badia Schiele's gone from Chelsea to Leverkusen. That's not Harry Maguire leaving. That's the young Dominic Slater going on loan to Bishaksha here for two years. Off to Istanbul for a little bit. Now then, please tell me that PSV have agreed contract terms with Harry Maguire. Come on. Hurry up, mate. Sign the thing. So we can go and get Aguerd, please. He's on my shortlist. He's 83 rated and he's very much going to be particularly good for us. Benjamin Sheshko moves from Leipzig to Forest. Harry's going! For the second time, Harry Maguire leaves Sheffield United. This time... Actually, I was going to say significantly less than before, but no. It was the move from Leicester to Man United that was the big one. I got an F for that. All right, sweet. Cheers. Best possible deal, minus one pound. I think it's a bug, don't you? I think 29 million pounds for a player that's valued at 18 is uh, it's pretty decent. So, Harry Maguire sold, 24 and a half added to the budget, which leaves us with 48 to go and get someone else in, which is absolutely doable. What were the other rumors there? Grimaldo to City, Pau Torres to Paris Saint-Germain, and then Randomer to Inter Milan. It's Milan. What are you talking about, Ches? To West Ham. So, Sheshko and Mason Mount and Harry Maguire, the latest deals. Mason Mount, the biggest of the window so far. Beno Kitten has gone from Dortmund to Celtic for 42 and a half, which is a real surprise. Right. Aguerd, where are you, my son? There he is. So, Aguerd actually isn't at West Ham anymore. He's at Athletic Club to Bilbao. But we have the finances to be able to afford him. 
and my chief executive reckons that he might be valued at about 30 million, or might be available at about 30 million pounds. His market value is 27. He's 28, so he's getting on a bit. Okay, they asked for 37. That's significantly uh, more than expected. We'll take 33. I do still need to be able to afford his wages. I probably can afford his wages, even at uh, 37, to be fair. I can't really afford for this to fall through, can I? Oh, they've agreed the deal. They've agreed the deal. Thank the Lord for that. Okay, let's go and agree contract terms then. Welcome in. Welcome in. Come and sit down, my son. What can we do for you? £34,500 a week is all he's on at Bilbao. Um... Contract that doesn't really matter, really, does it? And no release clause is fine. To be fair, the only player we had a release clause on was Harry, and we were very much wanting him to go. Now, I I don't want to run the risk... Oops, I must have offered him £900 million a week. Uh, I don't want to run the risk of this falling through, because I won't have time to renegotiate, so I'll offer him nearly twice what he's on, and he wants yet even more. I mean, obviously I'm going to do it, but that is a little bit cheeky. Agued! Is in. A transfer deadline day signing joins us from Spain back to the Premier League. Agued is now into the starting lineup. Right, Agued is in then for a fee that was slightly higher than I wanted to pay, but it's enough. It's enough that uh, we don't feel too hard done by for having spent too much money. So I'm happy enough with that. With Messi still not signed for anyone because FIFA's FIFA. Hopefully in F... Oh, wow. Jefferson's scout report's run out. Hopefully in FC24, that's not quite such a thing. But I have a funny feeling it might be the same again. But you never know. We'll wait and see. We live in hope, don't we? Pal Torres has now left Aston Villa to go to Paris Saint-Germain for £76.7 million. Granada would like Neil. I would like the extra body in my squad if I'm completely honest but Devon Wrench from Palace to Betis Brennan might be coming to Burnley that'd be a great signing for for Burnley in the Premier League an absolutely top quality signing for Burnley we signed Brenner in our Southampton save on FIFA 18 and he was stupendous we absolutely loved the kid he very much took over from Charlie Austin didn't he at the time so uh, it'll be good to see him in the Premier League. Hopefully he doesn't do that well for them, though, if he does join. But no more business planned for us, and no more business looks like he's going to go through. Apparently, Christophe Royer has been linked with AC Milan. I'm yet to hear anything about it. I've now heard something about it. In fact, Aston Villa would like to replace Pal Torres with him as well, but guess what? Not a bloody chance, lads. He is in my starting lineup continually. It's very much in the other half of Milan would like Gustavo Harmer as well. No. No, signore. Right, so that's deadline day done. Alfie Devine to buy... Why is it with English players going to Bayern Munich at the moment? It's really strange. Alfie Devine going to join Mason Mount and Harry Kane. So, the next round of the FA Cup has not been drawn yet, I don't believe. But it will be very shortly once the replays are played. And we have Everton on the 1st of February. So, that's a game we should be winning. We're on the, the cusp of the Champions League spots again. Everton sat mid-table. So... Victory should, hopefully, at least keep us in line with Tottenham. If we can beat Everton by more than they beat Brentford, then we can be uh, top four, even if both sides win this particular match day. So let's win, and let's win well. Everton's starting lineup then. Wojciech Chesney in goal for them. Nathan Pattis and Aritz Elistondo, Alex Miranda and Ryan Naik Nuri. Thomas Shotek sat holding with Nico Williams Jr., Amadou and Anna, Manuel Agate, Dwight McNeil sat behind Arnel Januma, of course. Up top for them. 4-1. 4-1. Uh, I'd love the scoreline to read 1-4. Because that would give us A, the three points. And B, if Tottenham beat Brentford, hopefully a bigger scoreline. It's only one goal between us in the league. No points. A single goal. Try and do our best here to get a positive result. We've been in good form, of course. And we'll try and keep that going today. And Tijani could have given us an early lead. But unfortunately, he hasn't. Now, if... Aguerd has come into the starting lineup ahead of Christopher Ayer because you guys were wanting me to start Kyle Walker uh, a little bit more regularly. So Walker, even though he's lower rated, continues to start a centre back, and it's Christopher Ayer that's made way for our new Moroccan in the middle. Up we go. Oh, Rafa Mir can't quite get to that. Can Douglas Louise get to that? No. It was actually Everton that we bought Douglas Louise from as well, wasn't it? Crucially, to remember. There is 
Naif getting stuck in. Spin at solo. Look for Tijani again. He's in the box. And Tijani! Can't get the better of Wojciech Szczesny. I was pretty certain we were going to score there. Come on, Naif. Get on the end of this. Aguero's up. Oh, nine minutes on your debut. How's that then? Money well spent. Money very well spent. Welcome to Sheffield United. Naif Aguero. What a header. What a goal. We're in front. That'll do. Ugarte. He's overrun that a little bit, but I can't quite get there. He's made the secondary run again, Ugarte. That's a brilliant through ball. Amadou Anan is not really the man to have one-on-one, -on -one, and he knew it. That's why he passed it. McNeil in behind, though. They can find Danuma in the middle, who I'm worried about. Then they might stand a chance to score, and Hanko gets... Well, Hansko gets a foot in. Does well. Just delayed a little bit with the pass for Rafa. Mir. Carl Walker will intercept that, and then we'll get rid Flick that backwards. There we go. Jaden loves to get forward. Rafamir, equally so. Can we find Cameron Archer? Ah, no, is the answer. It could have been a second. Aguerd chopped. Is Dan Yuma in trouble? Aguerd is down. Might be a yellow. Should be at least a yellow. It was a yellow. Miranda, up we go. Well up, Naive. He's certainly impressing on debut, isn't he? Very much so. Dan Yuma into Ugarte. Out wide to Dwight McNeil. Stood up nicely. Everybody's trying to get in the way underneath it. And nobody actually got there, I don't think. Amadou Anana. It's gone for goal. It's a good block. You guessed it. Naive in the way. What an absolute stellar signing he's turned out to be. You guys have not let me down in the comment section there, have you? Sometimes you come up with some options that I don't tend to get on with that well. And we sign them because you guys decide most of my signings. And sometimes it doesn't quite work out. But I tell you what. Maybe I'm jumping the gun a little bit this early on. And he does still have a lot of football left to be played. But, geez, Louise, Naif Aguero has been absolutely rock solid so far on debut. Oh, it's poor from Everton again. They've been really poor in possession today, Everton Football Club. Particularly disappointing. Spinat solo has been really poor as well, actually. Oxley chamberlain it's Bogle, actually. He needs to get to that first and has done. Douglas Louise, there's Oxley chamberlain There's Rafa Mir. Bit of space. And the finish was on its way in. But an 86-rated Wojciech Szczesny is trying his best to be sure we don't extend the lead. Go on, Naive. Up we go again. Oh, he so very nearly did it for a second time. Wider the target. What a header again. What a man. Then Yuma on the run. Douglas always tried to get a toe in. Couldn't. Aguero can't deal with Nico Williams Jr. And... Oh, it's going to bobble free. McNeil off the bar. He's got to score. There's no excuse. He has to bury that. Everton won't get a better chance. Goodison Park will be furious that they haven't equalised here. That's the one clear-cut chance they've needed all game to try and get back in it. And they've missed it. Looking for Cameron Archer. Then quickly for Rafa Mir. He's tried to do a 1-2. Somehow it has ended up at Rafa Mir. And I've still lost the bloody ball. Well in, Naive. I love this, man. I am literally already smitten. Hansko's pretty bloody good, too. Reinders into Oxley team and Jaden Bogle is the clear and obvious. And a one... Ah, oh, God, why do the ones... Passing's been really poor today. People just scuffing their passes left, right and centre. Great whip. Get on the end of it. Bloody hell. Lozano's come off the... Oh, come off the bench here and he's made the difference for Everton in previous games. And he's looking to do so again. How calm was that from Naive? Have you ever seen a defender? Attackers have done it because we've had like, hat tricks on debuts before, etc. But have you ever seen a defender be so commanding on debut? It's rare that you get someone that plays in that sort of position that just bosses it in their first game. And Naive has done exactly that. Still, though, the game is not safe. At just the one goal to nil. There's very much still possibility that Everton could take something from this. And I wanted a big win, really, because of the goal difference with Tottenham. But I just want a win in the certain circumstances that we're in now, 70 minutes into this fixture. I don't mind if we only get a 1-0 win, provided we still get the three points. Down the line. Patterson. And he's done me, too. And it's a lovely ball. Oh, Douglas Louise, the calmness composer, the first touch and control... Absolutely superb. Find the ball. Oxley chamberlain was away if we found the ball. They might be looking for a ball of their own. Yes, Douglas Louise! 
No Agent Douglas on this occasion. He's not trying to help out his former team. He's putting everything on the line so we saw that we get a clean sheet and a victory, which is exactly what we do. Thanks to our new... Look, like I was going to give Sean Dice a peck on the cheek there. Thanks to our brand new signing at centre-back. Clean sheet and goal in a 1-0 win on debut. You can't get better than that. Oh, the FA Cup has been drawn, but it's in the month of March, and it's Cardiff away. That's pretty straightforward, he says, as he's probably set himself up for failure now. Wolves are not having a great season. We are up into... Oh, my God. Not only did Spurs not beat Brentford, they then failed to win in their next fixture as well. Tottenham drew with Liverpool and drew with Brentford. You love to see it. We have a point advantage over Tottenham with now a game in hand. And if we win that game in hand, we'll only be four points off Chelsea in second. Liverpool are probably running away with it in the minute, aren't they? Still unbeaten after 25 games. Will they do it? We'll wait and see. For us, though, next, it's Wolverhampton Wanderers. Martin Buka in goal for Wolves. Four at the back for them. Doherty, Belakot, Chapmarato and Akiemi. Mateus Nunez, Joao Gomez and Tom Davies, who's in real life is a Sheffield United player right now. Neto, Mateus Cunha and Brandon Yang, a Patreon player on the left-hand side for Wolves now. It's the first time we've ended up playing against Brandon in three saves of him being a VOP on the Patreon. See so you guys are involved throughout all of the saves. And I think Brandon was in Italy, maybe, or France in the Southampton or RTG save. And I don't believe we ever played against him in the... Uh, the other two saves. This is the first time we're playing against him. We've come across a number of Patreon players, of course, throughout our time since we added that to the Patreon, that VIP tier level. And there's almost 30 of you, I think, that are at that level for FC24 right now. So I'm very much looking forward to getting you guys in as soon as possible. I will be doing, like I've mentioned, a bona fide Patreon plug kind of video. I can add almost for it. Go on, Dragovic. Uh, between now and FC24, so expect that soon, and an updated health video as well. But for now, let's concentrate on beating Brandon and getting a win against Wolves at home. Bramall Lane is a fortress, and we need it to continue to be. Oh, it's a great ball. I'm not going to catch Cunha. He's in behind, and he's away. Mateus Cunha! That's a special finish. That's a very special finish. Outside of the right boot, top corner. Booze around Bramall Lane, a bit uncalled for, I think, but with the opportunity to consolidate in fourth, we really need to be winning this. Set through in behind, and another look at that fantastic finish outside the box. Wasn't even right in the corner, just shot power enough to send it past the keeper. Around the corner to Jaden Bogart. I'm going to tuck this back to Agpom. Tuba in the box. Tuba, angles tight. Oh, a little bit too. Nice interception by Hansko. Trying to stretch and get there and can't. Advantage played, and the referee didn't really let advantage go for long. Rafa Mir fired at Dragovic. Jaden Bogle is arriving. Rafa will go again. Can I get it through to him? Not really. Let's play the safe option, ensure that we keep possession, get it out wide here to Max Lowe. He's got support inside. Tuber Akpom's right there. Look at the run from Tijani. It didn't quite find him. Can the cross find someone? I think that hit Tijani in the face. Oh, I can't do anything against Wolves. I'm really struggling. Buka with a poor clearance, though. Can we win this with Dragovic? We should do. We have done. Rafamir brings it down, turns away from one defender. Here comes Dragovic on the overlap. Into the box. Dragovic into the middle. Off Akiemi, out for a corner. Please, come on. Equalizer's ready and waiting to go in. Tuba's up. The ball's down. Kyle Walker. No, not that, mate. Oh, it's a lovely touch by Brandon. Brilliant. Brilliant bring down. Joao Gomez spins beautifully and they're still pushing forward here and they've gotten away from me. And are they going to get even more like they are? Good save by Dino to keep us level at... Not level, keep us at 1-0 with us having the chance to get level before the end of the game. Ensures that the opportunity is still there to get something from it. Made some changes. Douglas Luiz off for Harma. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain on for Dragovic as well. Need to try and keep Wolves out if they score a second. It really is done and dusted. Matt Doherty intercepted well by Hansko. Tajani Reynas just needs to get rid of this, and he has done. Nicely done. Rafamir's got it to Max Lowe. He's carrying a knock, actually, apparently. We'll look for Rafamir again. And Tuba's on. Tuba's off, even. Go on. Go on. No, oh, he just got too many defenders. I can't do it. I really can't do it. Wolves are going to absolutely do one on me here. Brandon down the left. Challenge Jaden, but it doesn't stop him. Cunha. 
Davis, away please. Counter, perhaps. Tuba, I need the support. Oxley Chamberlain. Bogle, he's overhit it. He's overhit it for no good reason whatsoever. Brilliant counter-attacking opportunity, and we've wasted it because he's kicked the ball too hard. Brandon Yang into the middle off Bogle's knee and out for a corner. Time is running out here. It's stuck Douglas Louise for Harmer as a substitution graphic in the top left. So I've no idea how much time is left in the game. I'm going to have to pause it to find that out. Neto, well in the way, Max Lowe. Don't blow your whistle yet, ref, please, for Christ's sake. There's got to be time. There's got to be time. Bogle. Run, Tuba. Turn the defender. Turn the defender. Go on, Tuba. And again. No. All the swear words. Yes, Rafa. Yes, Rafa. Go, Rafa. Rafa me. Yes, equaliser. Oh, we've worked so hard for that. And it was thanks to the dedication, the hard work, the determination of Rafa Mir to track back, to throw the challenge in, to win the ball, and then to get back up, to go again, sprint towards goal, and what a finish as well. Gurton! 1-1! One, one. Doherty with the throw. Giles off the bench, kicks that straight at Tijani. Oh my god, it's just pinballing around at the minute. Harmer looking for Tuba. Spin at Sola made a run, here comes Tijani. Tijani Reinders. How's that not made it through there? Oh, how's that not made it? That was the chance for the winner. That was it. Neither side will get one now. Oh, we still could have ended up winning the game. A 1-1 draw that was particularly hard fought. I kind of understand the booze. It wasn't a great performance, but it's the first time in ages that we haven't performed to our absolute best. So I don't think the booze are really warranted, to be honest. We've Luton in the final game of the day, which has to be a victory regardless of the fact that it's away from home still scouting Jebo but he's not really growing anymore at AC Milan unfortunately with Luton Town on the horizon they have 20 points thus far this season we are two points to the good ahead of Spurs so we need to make sure that we keep winning Wolves were down in 16th as well <sighs> they were 17th no they were yeah they were 17th level on points for West Ham but goal difference Saw them below, but now the extra point sees them up in 16th. Luton in 18th. I can't not beat two relegation threatened sides in the same episode, surely. All right, Luton Town starting lineup. Mike Cooper in goal for them. Issa Kabore, Reese Burke, Gabriel Osho, Tom Lockyer, and Alfie Doherty. Alan Campbell, Nelson Palacio, and Ivan Haney in the midfield. With Morris Malone and Rian Brewster, formerly of Sheffield United, of course, up top for them. They are Strugs down the bottom. We are not Strugs at the top, but we were Strugs to do anything against Wolves. Let's be better this time, please. Through the middle to Oxley chamberlain Turn. Use that channel. Oh, what a ball. Right, Rafa, you've got to beat your man, pal. He has done, and he set it up. Cameron Archer off the arsehole of Reese Burke. Into the back of the net. Certainly the deflection will have taken it past the keeper, or at least helped in taking it past the goalkeeper. And we'll take that 1-0 lead. Brilliant ball down the channel. From Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. Rafamir on his own initially had to wait for support, really. Was never going to be able to turn and shoot from there. Gets the turn, just lays it inside, and it's perfectly weighted. Almost speeds up off the backside of Reese Burke as it strikes him. And uh, whether the keeper would. Oh, it's off his hand! It was off his hand. It wasn't even off his backside at all. Sorry, Reese, I've done you a disservice there. I don't think the keeper would have gotten there anyway. Regardless, Cameron Archer scores his eighth goal of the Premier League season, and we lead at Kenilworth Road. Well up, lad. Jaden Bogle will get there. Oh, it's Carl Walker. Jaden Bogle's down here. That's not Jaden Bogle. That's Alex oxlade Chamberlain. That is a strong challenge at the very least. And a yellow card for Luton's captain, Tom Lockyer. He might be a bit of a lucky boy there. Let's float this towards the back post. Well, we might have some taller people ready and waiting like Rafa Mia. Oh, you do love a set-piece goal. Rafamir, assist for one, scores the next, and it's 2-0 at Kenilworth Road. Get it? We're only 12 minutes in. Is this going to be another Burnley? Maybe. Taking it away from their front man. They've not got much quality in attack, Luton. They really don't, unfortunately. I think their two strikers are like 70... Well, their one striker is like 73 rated, other than Rian Brewster, who's obviously uh, slightly higher. The alternatives for Luton just weren't very good. 
they'd almost be better off playing one striker as Rian Brewster and then trying to get some more quality around him from their midfield. Spinazzola will deliver this. Rafa Mir. Oh, with a Tacanio! That's brilliantly saved by Mike Cooper. Wow. That would have been a sensational third. Rafa Mir's up again, though. Ah, oh, not quite got the proper contact on the header this time. Doty. Oh, lovely first touch by Hamey to get him around the corner. And away from Jaden Vogel. Inside to Rian Brewster. And back to Doty again. Little reverse pass. Rian Brewster against his former team. Saved well by Dino. Rian can't quite believe it. He thought that was destined for the back of the net. Hamey with the corner instead. Floats a decent ball in. It's Brewster again. And Henderson is up to ensure that our clean sheet stays intact for now. Well, Manchester City man, of course, Issa Kabore. I think they've signed him in real life, actually, Luton, haven't they? Issa Kabore. That's why he's here in this save, because it was one that we did when we updated all of the real-life transfers before starting the save. Spinazzola just knocked that sideways and go again. Spinazzola has Rafamir with him here. I've got to. I can't not. I'm sorry, Luton. That's three and game over. I just had to, really. That is going to help us stay in the top four by the end of the day, at the very least. Corner for Luton. Palacio to deliver the set piece. It's not bad, you know, and Bruce has gotten to it as he has done every set piece like that that they've done so far today. But they just haven't done anything with any of them. We've made some changes here to freshen things up a bit for us. Schubert will look to thread that through. And Max Ahrens, who's just off the bench, might be in to score his first goal for the club. Max Ahrens, the right back, does exactly that. It's four here against Luton Town. And as our fans were booing with the draw against Wolves, now Luton's are as their team have just completely folded again at the end of the game here and let us in behind for another. They've seen enough at Luton Town. They want a managerial change. Unfortunately, with FIFA being FIFA, they won't get one. They might do in future iterations of this football game, but certainly not for FIFA 23 or, as far as I'm aware, FC 24 either, unfortunately. But you never know. Never say never. We'll keep as EA Creator Network members hammering on the door for improvements like that and realistic touches, like a proper managerial market, proper contracts for managers and players with extra additions, things for my, the, my player as well. There's so much details of stats being carried over from season to season. I've been able to see stats of players in other nations, etc. There's so much that is yet to be done in career mode, but compare... Like, Karimo genuinely gets better every single year. Genuinely. There's just so much more that could be done, which is the frustrating thing. And it, I know it's the same for a number of you guys as well, which is why I play so much FM when it comes out. Unfortunately for me, FM isn't as much of a, a view draw as FIFA, but certainly I know you guys enjoy the, fo uh, the Football Manager content on, on Twitch. And, of course, it will be coming back to you again for FM24 on Twitch and on the second channel as well over on Chesnoy Plays. But for now, that's all for this Chesnoy Gaming video here on your Monday afternoon. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video like again, of course, if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more. No news yet about our first knockout round of the Europa Conference League. We need the round 32 or the playoff round to be played before we get our round of 16 tie. But certainly March is busy enough already and we'll get busier still. So uh, still a little way to go in this third season before we find out whether we're going to win any trophies but we are looking good for at least two cups we hope i'll see you tomorrow for more